All right, so welcome everybody. Our special guest today is Amherst Fire Chief and Emergency Management Director, Tim Nelson. Welcome. Hello. Hey, how you doing? He's joining myself, Brianna, and your town manager, Paul Bachelman. So before we launch into questions, uh, I just want to remind everybody this is being recorded and I'm going to give an opportunity for um, Paul to give you any updates he has. Sure. Thanks, Brianna. Um, uh, so this is on Monday, the uh, new Board of Health regulation that requires the wearing of masks in the downtown area, basically from Lincoln Ave to Triangle Street to, to um, College Street, Northampton Road. Uh, went into effect and we've received a lot of people saying well how are you going to enforce it what's it going to do and it's um, really an educational thing we really want people to start um, wearing masks if they aren't to educate them that they should to create a culture of compliance uh, we are not going to be running around giving tickets to people if they're not wearing masks that's not uh, we know that that's not effective and we've talked with the university a lot about the techniques that they've used in the past and we'll be utilizing um, and employing a number of people who will be out and about uh, with someone doesn't have a mask, offering them a mask, educating them, saying, oh, this is a place where you have to have a mask on um, and supporting businesses as they, you know, as, if they have any issues. Um, so, and we're going to be sort of following the um, University's Walk This Way program, which has been very successful uh, over the years and uh, helping to leverage some of their student um, ambassadors basically to work in the area. So that's exciting to us. And we think that will be up and running by the time t stu uh, classes resume, which is around August 24th. Uh, I know that the, the um, we've already started to interview people for those those positions. Um, so that's that's the big thing coming, coming up. Other than, you know, Tim will talk about this. We had a, a pretty crazy storm on Tuesday um, that where he is flying around the town trying to put out, literally put out a million fires. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just to follow up on some of the, the content that Paul just shared regarding the mask order, you can find the complete language of the order as well as the map on both our homepage, amherstma.gov, as well as our COVID uh, information page, which is amherstcovid19.org. Um, so if you want to look further into that, you can find it at both of those places. So. I guess we're going to launch into some questions because we, as Paul mentioned, we had a little bit of a crazy uh, weather spurt in the last few days. A little bit. Uh, just a little, <laughs> you know. A little bit. Uh, so some questions we have around that is, you, you know, Tim, we had a tornado call on Sunday and then right. the Tuesday storms. How do right. you and your team prepare for this? When do you start preparing for weather type events like this? Well, as you know, I'm a, I'm a bit, bit of a, a weather geek. You know, I'm a pilot, so I'm a weather, a weather geek. Uh, well, for us, you know, we uh, the prediction for sun Sunday, you know, that, that there there there'd be be some pretty tough, tough weather came uh, two or three days prior, prior to the event. Uh, so so we'll we'll start 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 to look look at that and just, just kind of kind of you know we'll look to one of the one of the things we'll do is see see how 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 we're staffed for that for that for that day. And see and see and just so, and make make making sure that, that our equipment is all is all is, is all is all set 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 to go and that and that that our staff is aware of what 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 to go 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 on and then on on so sun, Sunday we were we 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 were like everyone else we were watching the weather and as it began began to build build up uh, we saw, saw 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 that there were more to a tornado it, it went from a tornado tornado watch to a, Tornado warning, and it, which which meant, meant meant that either someone saw saw it or gray radar showed 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 that, that there there was some uh, rotation going on within a, a thund, thund, thunderstorm. And I was home, I was watching it, and the thing is, you you could see on on the track that the storms were going to go were go, going from south to western mass and go, going to the north northeast on a track. Direct, direct towards uh, North Hampton and Amherst. The luck, lucky thing for us is that uh, the tornado went, went through, I think, San, Sandusfield, Bland, Blanford, and I believe Tall Tallinn. And as it came came, came up through, through through the hills, it began to lose some 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 of its strength. So we still had had a thunderstorm. We still still had some winds and rain, but the, but the, the tornado had had pretty much did. 
it, it, but it still came on a track, straight, 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 straight. But so we, I, as you know, I got, I got in touch, in touch with you, and we put out that blast, blast alert for folks to heed, heed the warning, take, take shelter, shelter, and that, and that type of thing. So, and that, and that's, and that's, that's our, our standard. That's a, that's a, that's a thing. That's how, how that's why we, we run, you know, things, 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 things like, like, like this, which, which lead, leads, leads me to. Put, uh, putting in a plug for folks, folks to sign, 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 sign up for our for our, our alerts. It's easy, easy. Uh, as uh, just go, go, go to the web website. Why don't, why don't you explain, explain it, since you're so good at it? It's my specialty. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we've we've actually we got a big uptick in subscriptions after Sunday. Uh, so that's yeah. always a good thing. Um, you can easily <clears throat> text Joyan Amherst. The words Joyan Amherst to three zero. 890 and that'll automatically put that cell phone on our alerts. Um, alternatively, if you visit our preparedness page, amherstma.gov slash prepare, we have um, the signups there as well, and as well as uh, preparedness information. And from if you sign up online, you can create an account, you can set up um, language, your own language choice. I think we've got almost 60 to 65 different languages you can choose to receive those calls and alerts. Um, and they go out instantaneously. It's a really good system. Um, so we encourage you, if you're not already signed up, to, to do so and maybe ask your neighbors or friends and family to do the same. Um, so I, I just want to take a quick chance to remind folks who are in attendance that you can use the Q&A function to pop your questions into the room, or you can raise your hand from Zoom or star nine from a phone. We'd love to hear from you um, live or through Q&A. And with that said, we have a question from Abby. Um, where are we in developing regulations that limit gathering sizes, outdoor and indoor? This is urgent. Last week, six students tested positive. They live off campus. Did contact tracing work? This cluster illustrates the urgent need for the town to develop regulations that limit the size of gatherings. What is the status of forming these regulations? Well, that's a really timely question question because that is on the agenda for the town council on Monday night. Um, setting regulations for limiting gathering is fairly, especially on private property, becomes more complex because it applies to everyone at all times and it becomes very uh, incredibly difficult to enforce. So if someone is having a birthday party for their five-year-old, that would come into play as well as um, someone, um, you know, uh, doing whatever event that they might be having. So um, it, it, trying to monitor if there's 10 people in a house or whatever the number that the council says is it wants to do it is a big challenge for the police department. And also, um, you know, there's a, a, a definite sort of constitutional privacy issue in terms of what people are allowed to do on their private property, et cetera. Uh, so right now, if there, if there people are outside and we can observe things, that that's one thing. Our bigger fear, quite frankly, is in t when people are inside, and um, that's where I, our health director fears is the greatest risk for spread of disease. And doing managing that on private property is just a, is a big issue. But this is a conversation that the council wants to have. They've heard from the constituents that that's a major concern for many of our residents and. Um, that will be a topic for discussion on Monday. And so I encourage you, Abby, to join into that meeting um, at 6.30. And, and all of those meetings will be uh, broadcast on um, Channel 17 via Amherst Media's live stream and from the Zoom link yep. um, right in the calendar posting itself. So if you need any help accessing that, please let us know. Um, so we have um, another question here with with coming close to the, the start of school, have you seen an uptick, uptick in calls for services, Chief? Yeah, well, we, we have, but I don't, you know, it's, I don't think you, you can say that it's because, you know, students, students, students are making, making their way back. I think it's, I think uh, people, people are becoming more active here, 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 here in town. Uh, folks are beginning to get get out a, a little more. So between I think between that and the fact that some you know some some, some of the students, the students are coming come, coming back and and all and all the uh, folks that work serves 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 the staff support support the schools. We're 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 be, beginning to see an, an up and up and up and up and up up 
like slow but sure. I mean, we we were down when when the when, when the whole pandemic pretty much took took its hold. We our calls probably went down about four, forty per, per, per percent. So and we're and but now we're beginning to see a little, as I said, a, a little bit a bit of an up and up tick, and that's just a function, as you said, of folks beginning to come back to town, beginning to get a, a, a little more active. Great, thank you. Yeah, sure. Uh, so another thing, you know, about our our fire department and your team is that they're known for all of their extra engagement and outreach um, beyond your regular, sure. you know, everyday sure. right. responsibilities. So, yeah. are there are are you guys thinking of ways that you can continue this in this new landscape of not being able to have events in person? It's different. It's this stuff. We we have a very Robust school uh, school fire department prevention program, and depending on how 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 the schools will roll out, that is going to have an effect effect on it. And it, it's it's been success over, my God, 20, 25, five, five, five years 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 now. As I said, you know, I I started started out in whole 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 you know, fire, and you know we we want our we want wanted our program to be to be be like like Amber, Amber's. You know that that that's, that's the thing. We we are the ben, the benchmark for, for the state. Along with with that, um, every, everybody loves 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 our open open our open house. Uh, uh, they, that comes at at the, the beginning, uh, the, at the at the beginning of uh, fire, fire prevention week in, in October, October. This this week for prevention week is October October fourth through the tenth. Uh, at times, I think folks come for the don donuts, but that's that's. That's why Absolutely. I go. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. But we got to get you in the door. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so one one of the things that, that we're kicking around now is to do it for, for, for virtually. You know, um, we're kind of kind of kicking kick, kick, kick around around my, my idea so that we can we can still have some type of out 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 outreach, and you know, and and share share some time and share some good in in, in information with uh, with with folks. It just won't be. At it, you know, face 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 to face, you know. So that's so that's one of the one of the big big things we're working on. So stay tuned. And we'll work out that donut delivery between now yeah, and we, then. Yeah, I guess maybe you know you know drive drive around town, tossing out apple apple cider donuts. It could work. It could work. Yeah. So I when that when that's set in stone, we'll we'll push that out there to make sure everybody is aware of the opportunity. That'll be good. That'll be cool. That'll, that'll be cool. So an, another question we have here, and I know you've probably gotten this in the past and have answered it, but how, in what ways um, has COVID impacted your daily operations with your team and responding to, to calls? Uh, as as ev 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 everyone knows, the whole world has changed, you know, because, because, because of the pandemic and we're, and we're, and we're, we're not immune. Into that, what 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 it's done for us is we have have to take uh, even even further further steps to to protect protect our personnel when when we're going to go going out uh, on call. I mean, we're, we're wearing. I mean, we can get a uh, say a smoke 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 detector call, and we're and we're and we're we're putting on a mask and gloves and that and that type 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 of thing. When when we go out go go out on inspections. We're wearing all all, all the per, 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 personal personal protective equipment. Okay, we do that when that 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 type type of thing. When when we're going going out 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 on the on the medical, the medical call, we're uh, one one of the things things we'll do is we'll uh, we'll, we'll start from 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 a distance, uh, main, main, maintain maintaining maintaining so separation to do to begin our assess, assessment of patient unless it's an exigent circumstance but then you know and and we'll talk we'll talk to, to the patient then we'll take steps to protect protect them we'll, we'll give give them uh pp for personal protective protective equipment that's to protect them it's to protect us at the same 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 time because again we're only five 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 six months into, the, into this and there's still a lot we don't know about about this so it may seem that we're 
at times folks might 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 think 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 that we're doing too much to protect or protect, protect ourselves. But I can't I I I I can't take that 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 chance with, with, with our first person. No, we have not had a single uh, thing, sing, single member of this of this part 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 of the part and get get sick. Calm down with 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 this. So, and that and that's because we we began early early basically take take take, take note of those 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 steps to protect us and the public that. that that we deserve. Yep. So that's some, something that we're proud, proud, we're very, very proud of. Yeah, so I just want to chime in on that because it was really um, instructive. When we first started meeting as a core team uh, with, with the chief, um, you know, his first thing was force protection. We have to protect our, the first responders so they can respond to the people who are in need. And um, he was out there way ahead of other people um, securing um, emergency management supplies, PPE, and always scrounging and you know begging, borrowing. I won't say stealing, but uh, talking to acquiring, MEMA, acquiring, <laughs> acquiring <laughs> MEMA and getting a stockpile. So we were always secure, and that um, he was also responsible for all the town departments. So that included police and DPW, but also LSSE and other places. So he was, um, you know, everything funneled through his department in terms of acquiring all of the emergency management supplies. And he was even getting equipment for um, the Craig Stores homeless shelter. So uh, it's been really remarkable um, effort. And you know, Tim has tremendous contacts throughout the county and throughout the state. And so that's really put the, the uh, town in good stead for, uh, and, and it's, a, it's an ongoing process because we don't know how long this is going to go. And when we're, we're, I think we're pretty well stocked up, Tim, would you say? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we are. You know, and as you said, it, it's an ongoing process, and and it's it's an adapt, adaptive process because things you know we're we're getting new new in, in, in information every every day from all 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 types types of sources. So at times we have have to adapt how how how, how we deal 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 with this. And I like I like to say we because I've got this great great team that I that I, that. I, that that I lead, uh, I've got some really, really smart, smart folks who are working, working here, and and we're we're coming come, come, coming up with, with way, ways to deal deal with, with this because really our prime, our, I guess you call our prime directive is that we're we're, we're going to take care of people, and you know and and the best, the best way to do do that is to protect protect ourselves selves first, and then we, we can better serve the folks 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 out. So I, I'm extremely proud of uh, the folks folks that. That I, that I work, work with every day. Another thing I want to bring up was um, Tuesday, I thought was really interesting because um, there were, you know, there was a very short period of time and there were dozens of calls coming into dispatch and dozens yeah. and dozens, they're stacked mm -hmm. up. And so first, you know, a shout out to dispatch because they were triaging these calls and it's, it's, yeah. it's I don't know, there's four people up there, you know, there's there, usually there, one. There were three, yeah, there, there, three. there were three and you use usually there's two. And so one is dedicated to working the fire line, one's dedicated to police and they're communicating, they're talking to DPW, they're shutting down roads. There were fires being reported everywhere. I heard Tim sort of responding himself in his car to one <laughs> fire to investigate because you have to make an assessment. And sure. um, so it was just a real, it just made me really proud to be part of this team because you saw dispatch, DPW, fire, police, assembling resources, making decisions in real time, saying, no, you don't need to go there, go here. Uh, we need this road closed, get up there. And like everything was moving around, trees were falling around, down, you had DPW out there trying to clear the path. Um, but the biggest thing was like in a very, there were like, they said, we've got 25 calls and we're trying to, and you know, calling Eversource and saying, we need these things. It was just a real, um, tour de force uh, in terms of our emergency and first responders. Um, and it was just uh, fascinating to watch it in real time because I listen to it on the scanner. I don't do anything. I listen and I drive around and look at things. Um, but um, but to see, you know, the chief out there himself, you know, saying, I'll take the one on East Tabloo Road. I'll investigate it, see if it's anything that we really need to send an apparatus to or not. And then moving on to the next call when he clears that one. So. Um, it was pretty interesting to, to pay attention to. And I think we all appreciate that. I know the, the taxpayers do in town and the residents um, because it really is about commitment to public safety. 
And it's and we we've, we've got this public safety safe, safety team. It's uh, it's fire, police, it's DPW, uh, all and and dispatch all working as a team. We we had let's see we had uh, trees and wires down on pine. Pine, Pine Street. We had trees and wire wires down and burn burning on on Palm on West Palm Palm Pomeroy. We had trees and uh, trees and wire wires down on uh, West West Bay, all at the same time. And you know the the West, the West Palm Pomeroy call was in arresting because we we you know we we still had folks that were still in 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 the in the in their homes, and 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 one of the big big thing thing things is stay where you are don't don't go outside that that type type of thing so so we had some simon simon simultaneous calls were going on power 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 out because we were answering calls because of uh the lack the lack of power, power. so you know, there are all all kinds of things things go going on but it yeah the flow the flow the flow flow was great because the team it's 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 a multifaceted team that works well together and, and there were there was a domestic violence call that the police had to respond to, and you know yep. these are different. They have to prioritize these things. There's a yep. woman who's experiencing heart palpitations or something in a car. I, I heard, and again yep. checking in on the all these things. And do you send an ambulance? Where do you position people? And yep. so yep. those calls don't stop coming in. And then there was, right. and I think you know the other thing that we need to credit our partners because Amherst College and Hampshire College dedicated their um, their security forces to help with road closures, and mm -hmm. UMass helped with one of the one of the police calls um, to support. When you go to a domestic violence call, you need support because you don't know what you're walking into. Um, right. So right. It, was, it, was, it was neat to see all the police forces, all all, all the public safety forces, stepping up and saying, "We we got we we can cover Bay Road for you. You guys right. can go to right. something else." It was great. It was a it was a, it was a good good team effort, and and you know on the on the public. Public side, they heeded he the war warnings, and no one got hurt because of the storm. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a big deal, All right? Folks will listen and and did and did as as they should to protect to protect themselves. Yeah, I, I appreciate. It's you. It's you. Go ahead. Sorry. I think there's like 25 people still out, Tim. How many in Amherst? Are there a handful? Of people uh, there, still it's out? a small. There's a hand handful out. Uh, they, uh, you know. Uh, Western Mass uh, did, did 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 okay. I mean, there's still about eight eight thousand thousand customers out in Western Mass. But here 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 in town, I think I last last I checked about twenty five or thirty. So that do you know where they are? Uh, no, I I okay. I I don't. It's it's spotty. Mm -hmm. Right 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 now they they got they got they got the main the main bulk bulk cleared 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 up uh, the other uh, last 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 night. And now it's just spot spots, you know, where say a, a tree tree came and came down into it, took down a line line to one one or two homes. So that so they so they've got to go to individual homes and and mm. and, and tie, tie them back and again. So it's that, that that type type of thing. So. Great. We got a we had a comment in the room from Linda um, saying congratulations to Chief Nelson for his foresight and for taking good care of us all. So I wanted to share well, that. Well, thank um, you. And, and, you know, and again, I, I've got to, I've got to say, it's not just me. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky, lucky, lucky to work with, 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 with all these folks day in, day out. They're, they're the ones that, they're, they're the boots, boots, on, boots on, on the ground. They're the ones that do the heavy, the heavy lifting. My, my job is to get, to get them what, what they need and stay out of their way. <laughs> so. I like that. Um, I, we're getting close to our, our 30 minute mark. I know that went by uh -huh. quick. Um, wow. So I wanna remind everybody in the room, now's your chance if you have a comment to pop into the Q&A um, or a question or simply raise your hand via Zoom so we can hear from you. Um, we have a couple minutes left before we, we wrap. So I would encourage you to do that now. We'll give people a chance. Um, and I just wanna say, I appreciate both Paul and uh, Chief Nelson mentioned mentioning I'm a little biased here, but incorporating crisis communications and DPW into that picture of public safety and first responders because mm -hmm. um, people don't always think of them, but it's yeah. essential to to support fire and police um, 
with communications and with the public works. So that's really important and to mention. That's huge. Yes, you are our go-to, okay? <laughs> yes, yes, you are. I, I was thinking more about our, our dispatchers because they're, well, yeah, they're I mean, there 24-7. They, they are. But, they are. but, you're, but, <laughs> but you thank know, you. <laughs> no, you're big. I mean, again, it, it's a team, team thing. It's all about the team. And everybody brings a skill to the dance. And there, and you know, day days like you know, to 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 Tuesday night, that's that's when we need all those skills. So, mm -hmm. when you drive down Main Street, you look at the police station. If you look at the top floor and you see some lights on up there, that's our dispatch that's center. <laughs> and they're there twenty four seven, and Absolutely. they have a little kitchen up there, and they have a little bathroom. But other than that, that they're not allowed to leave there. And keeping yeah. those folks healthy has been a high priority for us as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah, and they do a terrific job. Amazing yeah. job. So I don't see any hands in the room. Oh, wait, let's see. I got a Q&A. Um, okay, so Abby says one of the best ways to keep our first responders safe is to keep infection rates low in our community. We need regulations now to limit gatherings. And, and Abby, I'm, I'm not sure um, if you're able to potentially attend or make a comment at the meeting on Monday, but you're obviously welcome to attend and um, send your public comments in if you can't make it live um, to the town council, because I'm sure they would love to hear um, your opinion on this. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing that. All right, so yeah. any, any words you wanna leave the community with, Chief, that you didn't get to touch on yet? Uh, just uh, again, you know, stay, stay safe, heed, heed, the war, 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 warning that you're going to hear here from time, time to time. It's, this, it's still summertime. It's still a storm, storm, stormy time. So just, just be, just you know, pay, pay attention and be safe. That's it. And sign up for emergency alerts. And, oh yes, I'm sorry. Sign up for emergency alerts. <laughs> <laughs> and and if people have trouble with that, um, they can get in touch with me at any point to um, at info at amherstma.gov. But again, it's at the bottom of every single one of our web pages, no matter which page you land on, there's a little orange button that says civic ready, click that and you'll be brought to the screen to sign up. Um, so without seeing any other comments or question or hands, um, Paul, did you have any, any parting words? Just the next couple of weeks, you gotta talk about that. Oh, yes. Yeah. So um, we're going to take a brief hiatus from community chats for the next couple of weeks, um, just to go around people's schedules. Um, so you won't be seeing us in this format for the next couple of weeks. So if you miss us, feel free to send us an email and we'll <laughs> respond to your questions directly. Um, and then hopefully we'll be back. We'll be back um, either in this format or a new format when we're back in, in two weeks. So we'll have more information. We'll put it all out there to everybody to let you know how you can connect with us. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Bull. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Have a nice Peace. day. Thanks, Tim. All right. Bye-bye.